Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Now I've been reading this book, it's called Ageless Beauty and it's all about the secrets to French elegance and it's absolutely wonderful. At a time when looking after ourselves isn't necessarily our top priority, the book just makes you feel like you want to take better care of yourself and look and feel the best that you can. So it kind of inspired today's video. With spring just around the corner, today's video is about getting excited to look and feel good again and getting our wardrobes, our skin, our body ready for the new season ahead. The first step to getting ready for spring is to have a good old wardrobe detox, which can be incredibly therapeutic, but it'll also get you excited for the new season ahead. Pack all your winter clothes away to make some space for your new spring outfits. Either keep them and pack them away for next season, donate them if you no longer think you're going to wear them, or put them to the side as a trans-season piece. Tailored jackets and blouses, t-shirts and skirts are all pieces that will carry over into the early part of the spring. Now you should have some space to assess your spring wardrobe. If you pack your spring clothes away, then unpack everything and assess last year's wardrobe and see what's good to rewear again this year. Now you've got to try everything on. The first thing to find out is, do you still like it? If not, you know what to do with it. Does everything still fit and still flatter you? Or does it need some alterations? Or do you need something to wear it with? Work out what pieces are missing to create more outfits. It may just be a few simple bits that can be bought very easily, but will make more fabulous spring outfits. Just like we get our wardrobes ready for spring, our skin needs a refresh too. It's been subjected to some cold, harsh, dry winter weather, which can cause a real build up of dead skin cells. So for spring, we wanna get our radiance and glow back. A gentle exfoliation just once a week will remove all the dead skin cells and leave your skin looking and feeling fresher and more radiant for the spring. You could use an electric device to exfoliate or there are lots of exfoliating creams now which don't contain microbeads which are harmful to the environment. A good face mask is great for hydrating the skin. You can try those and make those at home very easily with all natural ingredients which don't cost the earth. This avocado face mask has just got four ingredients. You also use the avocado skin to exfoliate so nothing gets wasted and it leaves your skin feeling fabulous. Silicone patches are great for hydrating and fighting wrinkles and they're a great alternative to more invasive treatments like Botox. I've been using these patches by Oya. These are 100% medical grade silicone and these hydrate and they tackle wrinkles all at the same time. You can get them for your eyes and your smile lines and for your forehead and your neck and also for your chest as well. So I want to show you a before and after picture. As you can see, it's completely unfiltered and I don't have any makeup on at all. You can see the difference. The nasal fold lines are definitely more plumped up and the line isn't as deep or as prominent. It is an area that's really starting to bother me and I really didn't want to get any filler or anything like this. So these are a great alternative to using Botox. Before you put the patches on, you've got to make sure that you've thoroughly cleaned your skin and it's completely dry so the patches will stick really well to it. The key thing with these patches is you've got to try and stretch the surface of your skin as much as you can before you put the patch on. It's a little bit fiddly, but when you get used to it, they're very easy to use. Once you've applied the patch, you just need to gently press them down to get rid of any air bubbles. They come attached to a seal, it's just like a plaster really, that you just peel off. They work by forming a microclimate between the patch and the skin. So they draw up the moisture from the lower level of the skin, stopping any water loss. And that's how you get that deep hydration. You can use the patches up to 30 times. After you've used them, you just give them a little wash. You don't have to use any soap. And then you just keep them on a sheet that comes with them. You can sleep in them too for even better results. I do, but I do have to sleep on my back. And then in the morning, my skin looks more hydrated, fuller, more plumped up and definitely less wrinkled. I've got a 10% discount code for you if you'd like to give them a try. It's I'm Gemma. 
I'll put that in the description box and I'll also leave a link to OU's website so you can take a look at the patches. The book claims that facial massage is the French woman's best kept secret and it's another wonderful non-invasive way that we can improve our skin and we should be doing facial massages all the time, not just in preparation for spring. A long time ago I did a facial massage video, in fact I think it was one of my very first videos. It's a nice easy and quick invigorating massage but there's lots of facial massage videos available to follow and start preparing your skin for spring. Our feet have been covered up in thick socks and heavy boots throughout the colder months and they need a little love too. An at home pedicure will get your feet spring ready in no time. Prep your feet by soaking them to soften the tough skin and the cuticles. For a real treat add some foot soak or some bath salts. You can buff off any dead skin cells using a foot file or a pumice stone or a luxurious exfoliator with, without microbeads will do the job too. Use a really thick foot cream and moisturise your feet daily. But try to avoid between your toes because that can actually cause bacteria. Tidy up the cuticles with a cuticle remover about every three weeks and finish off with a coat or two of a gorgeous colour nail varnish. To get spring ready, it's time sadly to ditch the comfort foods that have been getting us through the winter. This year has been particularly hard for all of us and I for one have definitely been overindulging more than what I would usually do. Slowly I've been cutting back. It actually feels nice eating less heavy meals in favour of lighter, fresher ingredients. This is a great book to try if you are looking for a kickstart to start eating healthier. An easy way to start getting our bodies, minds and skin ready for spring is to start drinking more water. We all know the benefits of drinking more water and if we needed any more incentive it'll help us lose weight and look younger too. Here's some easy ways to drink more water. You can always try drinking from larger containers. I usually buy a big two litre bottle and I just keep it next to me on my desk so I can keep track of how much I'm drinking. Another way to make it more exciting is adding some flavour. I like adding just some sliced lemons. It just makes it feel a little bit more special. There's also apps available now to help keep track of how many ounces of water you've drunk. Or if you're not into apps, you can always set an alarm to remind yourself to drink more. Soon the layers will be coming off and if you have been hiding under a baggy jumper for the last few months, it can be a little bit of a shock. If you haven't been working out at all, starting out really gently with just 15 minutes a day is a great way to get started and get motivated and not feel overwhelmed. 15 minutes feels quite doable. I find following a fitness planner really helps keep me on track. I like paper ones that you can print off. I've saved these on my Pinterest board. If you want to download them, I'll link them below for you. With some of them, you can track your meals, water and fitness as well. Seeing it written down, it just helps keep you motivated and focused. 